Hello everyone, my name is Michael and I'm gonna be leading you through today's lesson. First thing we're gonna do is our do now, as always. Uh, you're gonna to go to Google and search, the answer, search for the answer for these three questions. Uh, one is how many people use the internet every day? Second one is what is the definition of web development? Third is what percentage of software engineers are female, All right? So look up those three questions and save them somewhere so you can submit them to Google Classroom. All right, if you need to pause, but I'm gonna keep moving. All right, so you should have, or you will receive a class code for this, the Google Classroom for this class. Won't spend too much time on this, but uh, once you do that, you can submit your answers for your do now into that Google Classroom assignment. All right, so today, today we're gonna to be going over platforms that we we'll use in this classroom. So we already talked about Google Classroom and you'll learn a, little, a few more. So let's read this objective together. Coders will navigate code nation platforms. Let's read the vocabulary together. Pop code, coding environment, render. Okay. So in this class, you have some computer expectations. Um, won't spend too much time on, the, on this. You can read most of these for yourself, but I'll go through a few of them. You wanna mute yourself if you're not talking. You wanna show your face via video if possible. Uh, you want to sit with the light in front of your face, not behind you. And you definitely want to take advantage of that chat box. Um, it's a really, really helpful tool. Okay. So we talked a little bit about Google Classroom, but Google Classroom is our tool for um, this class that we're going to use to share class materials, exchange notes, and submit work. So all your assignments are going to be posted in Google Classroom this year. Okay. So we're going to go through the different parts of Google Classroom just so you're familiar. You probably already are. If you are, can skip through this part um, if, you, if you're sure you know everything about Google Classroom. So we have the stream, which is the first thing that pops up when you log in. So on most days, our do nows and our lesson slides uh, are gonna be posted here. So you can navigate there and access the lesson slides and use them uh, whenever you want. All right, so we also have the classwork tab. So there you'll be able to find all the work, what's assigned, what's returned, what's missing. Uh, so this is where you can find everything you need for the class um, that has been assigned to you. Okay, so we're going to do a little get scavenger hunt, or you're going to do a little scavenger hunt to find these other resources. So we have the reference table, which is going to be a really cool tool for you to use um, as you get a bit more familiar about what uh, we're learning in this class. Of the webinars, all right? So where we find a link to the webinars, help ticket, and the lesson slides. So take a second, pause this uh, video, and look for those items. Once you find them, you can unpause. All right. So pop code is a really cool tool that we're going to use in our class to code. That's where we're going to write our code. And this was developed by actually a Code Nation volunteer. So we're going to hop in here and check out pop code. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is what pop code looks like. So, always want to log in when you use pop code. Always want to log in. So, I'm going to log in. Okay, so now I can see I'm logged in. I have my picture right here, my name. I'm gonna pull up one of our old projects just to show you what this looks like. Um, okay. All right. So on the left, you'll see an instruction panel. This is where you can find an instruction for your, all your projects. Here in this, these parts is where you'll type your code for lesson. All right. And on this side, you'll see your code rendered. So this code you wrote turns into this, right? So that's the power and beauty of coding, right? So you click this button right in here, you'll be able to pop out that rendered product into another tab and see how it looks fully. Uh, you'll be able to pull up your old projects by pushing this button. Refresh the page by pressing this button. Start a new project by pressing the new project button and create a snapshot of your uh, work by pressing this button, right? This is really, really cool tool. All right. 
So getting back here, I want to make sure that I covered everything. All right, so again, this is where the instructions will be. You'll write your HTML, which is your content in this top part, or CSS in this part, and your JavaScript, which gives you your interactivity in that part, okay? So again, you're gonna use your Google account to log into PopClo. So if you haven't done it already, make sure you do that. So this allows you to save your work. If you do not log in, your work will not be saved. So you wanna make sure to log in, log in, please, all right? When you're working, you also wanna have a title so you can find your project again. So you saw how when I loaded my work, I was able to see, okay, I know this is this project. I know this is my to-do list project because this is the title right here. I wrote this title, all right? So you wanna make sure you name your projects or else you're gonna have an all my projects are named, all right? But this, these two aren't named, so I have no idea what these are. So you have to have to name these projects so you know what to look for and what to find when you're, when you're going back on your work. Okay. So let's start a new project here. And I'm gonna name it my first project. Okay, and as you can see, I typed that here. It's displayed here. And if I go back into your projects, there it is. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So you always wanna do that. You always wanna make sure you log in and change the title. Okay. All right, PopCode also gives you errors, okay? So this is what's really helpful about it. As you type, the interface changes color. Rain means you're doing great. Yellow means you should probably keep typing. You're probably just not finished typing yet. And red means something's probably wrong, all right? So in the preview window that I showed you where the code gets rendered, you'll see some helpful tips to fix things if something is going wrong, okay? Let's do an example. So I'm going to write an, a heading tag or H1 tag, and I'm gonna do it incorrectly. So as you can see, this is yellow and then it's red, okay? So it's telling me something's wrong. On line eight, okay? I think my problem's on line seven, so sometimes uh, it gives you a tip, but it's not exactly sure it's wrong. Your H1 tag, okay, here's my H1 tag, needs to be closed by the closing H1 tag. So I need to write this here, okay? So let's see what happens if I write that. Okay, we got green, and we see some code rendered on page. Looks like we're doing a lot better. So those tips are super helpful in pop code, and we definitely want to use those. Okay, we talked about how you preview your work. Again, it's gonna be on that right pane and you can push this button right here to pop it out. Okay, so just so you understand the definition, definition of render, pop code renders or read your code in real time so you can see what you're creating as you type. All right, so let's do a simple poem together in pop code so we can see our code rendered in the browser window. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna choose some. First thing we wanna do is read our instructions. Choose a word that starts with each letter of the word coding to fill out our acrostic post poem. Don't forget to submit to Google Classroom when done. So we have creative as our first word, because we have to start with C. Oh, let's see. Oh, what, what word should we use for O? Opportunity, that's a good one. What about D? Coding is my destiny. I, what about innovation? N, let's see, let me think of something for N. New, right? So it's pretty new, right? And then G, um, I can be pretty generous with um, what I learned with my code, right? So I can be generous and share my knowledge with others. All right, so here's our poem, cool? So we can see that the code we typed here is rendered on the page. All right, okay, 
So you're gonna go work on your independent practice, which you see in your assignments. Um, so for your assignments, you are going to, let me read the instructions for you. Okay, very important. First you're gonna, thing you're gonna do, of course, is make sure that you are logged in and you'll see that in the top right-hand corner of your screen to make sure you're logged in. Looks like I'm logged in, my name is right there. All right, you're gonna create a poem, start on line seven, write your name so it is uh, split into one letter on each line, fill in the word that describes you that starts with each letter. Change the title on line four so your poem has a new title, right? And if, if you finish that pretty early, when you try to use this break tag, which creates a break or a new line in your code, Right, so try adding a different place in your code so your poem will render on different lines. All right, that's all for today. Thank you.